Okay, we're really close. So hopefully yours looks just like mine. I know we changed our mind on a few things, but I wanted to kind of let you feel what the creation process is like. It's not perfect. I don't really like what's going on in the middle here, but we can't work on this forever. So let's let's get to um, getting it to iMovie. So I'm just gonna tap on my songs here. Uh, I'm going to tap on actually the name of the song so I can rename it uh, Kiva Song. So I'm gonna come back to this a year from now going, what the heck song was that? Okay, so now there's the Kiva song, and you might be looking at this going, Mr. Flick, where's the share button? Where I don't see it. Well, let me show you. Tap on select, then there's now the share button. So I'm gonna tap on the song I want to share. Tap on share. Now, if you don't have import to iMovie, just go ahead and go down to the end where those three dots are, and you can turn it on so it's there. But I want to import with iMovie. Now it's creating the song. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, come on, baby. There we go. It's creating the song. Now it's going to open up iMovie now. Oh, man, I'm at 13% battery. I'm getting close here. Okay, and then it says, you know, where do you want to put this? Well, of course, we want to put it with the Kiva video right there. And it's going to now combine all that together. There, it added the soundtrack. Let's rewind it. Okay, let's see what it sounds like here. Look how pretty that is. Nice start. People around the world. Nice. Work hard every day. Nice. Look at how well this works with this video. Got a nice beat to it, but it's not too fast. Okay, that was kind of odd how we went just to a beat there, but might want to work on that a little bit more. I didn't know we had that little empty spot right there. Very nice. There's our bridge. Yeah. That's right at the right time in the video too. Very nice. Okay, that, that's working really good. And of course, now that it's an iMovie, you know how to get it to your Google Drive and everything there. You can just share it here and send it to Google Drive, email it to somebody, but you need to get it to me. So the best thing to do is put it in your Google Drive, then send me the link to your video in Google Drive. I wanted to show you one thing in GarageBand. I forgot to, to tell you before. So I'm gonna go back to GarageBand here and open up the, the song. If something is too loud, like maybe one, one of the tracks are too loud or something, just go ahead and grab the handle here, and open up, oops, there we go, open up the drawer and you can see all the volume level. So I could actually take that synth on this track here and turn it down. I could turn down the volume of the synth. Of course it always, whatever track is highlighted is um, what's going to be bouncing up and down with your voice. But that's where you can do the balance of you know what track sounds you know, and, and of course, most songs you see this all going all over the place because the mixer of the of the song, the creator of the song, has really adjusted it all. For this quick little tutorial, we're not going to really worry about that. But for your project, you might need to do that, turning some tracks down and making other tracks louder. You know, whatever it might be for your project. But uh, uh, there you go. I can't wait to see the tutorial project, and I really can't wait to see the video project you make with your own brand new, never heard in the world before soundtrack. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, you guys. Have a fun time.